السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الأمين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Welcome dear brothers and sisters to the 14th day of the month of Ramadan May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala write us among those who are accepted by him and not of those who are rejected may allah azza wa jal free our necks from the fire allahumma ameen today dua number 14 bi idhn allah azza wa jal is one of the greatest ad'iyah ever this dua is in the quran and it is dua that was Asked by one of the greatest messengers, Musa alayhi salam, and it was answered immediately by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what makes this dua very unique and special is that this dua was made for a matter that was extremely difficult extremely difficult and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it easy for him and that was when Musa alayhi salam was commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to go to Fir'aun the Pharaoh and to speak to him about Islam and to free the Bani Israel, the children of Is the children of Israel uh, from oppression and slavery. And Musa alayhi salam knowing that uh, knowing what type of person Fir'aun is because Musa alayhi salam grew up in his home and that the fact that he doesn't take any advice the fact that he's very arrogant the fact that um, uh, on top of that Musa alayhi salam if you remember he accidentally killed somebody while he had no intention to do so uh, so he said you know um I have, I have, I have killed one of their men. So this makes the matter even more difficult. So Musa alayhi salam made this dua. And this dua is two parts. It's two parts. Uh, you may memorize the first portion of it. If that is what you need. And if you, uh, if you, if your work or whatever that matter is involves you speaking to someone then the second part becomes very important so the first two portions right these two portions this one and this one are general these two portions have to do with if you have to speak to someone so Musa alayhi salam he had to speak to Fir'aun the Pharaoh which was a matter that was pretty, uh, you know, difficult. So he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbish rahli sadri. <clears throat> Rabbish rahli sadri. Oh my Lord, expand from me my chest. When a matter is difficult, then there is this hesitation in the chest, heaviness in the chest, which uh, uh, will prevent the person from putting their heart into it, which will prevent the person from uh, enjoying or, or fulfilling the command, fulfilling the task uh, as it deserves to be completed. So it's very important that we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, expand my chest. So this matter is not heavy on my chest. This matter, 
I fulfill it the way it should be fulfilled and I do it wholeheartedly. Not that it is heavy upon me, it is a burden in my chest and I feel uncomfortable and I feel unease while doing it. No, Ya Allah, open for me my chest. وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِي وَيَسِّرْ لِي أَمْرِي And make my matter easy. Now the first portion of the dua is speaking about the internal unease. Internal unease inside the chest. This one is speaking about the external unease. And make my matter easy. And meaning as I go to Fir'aun and I stand before Fir'aun and I speak to Fir'aun, make that matter easy externally, Ya Allah. Subhanallah, what a beautiful dua. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri. Very easy dua to memorize, inshallah, for every matter of ours. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri. And then, uh, he had to speak to someone. He had to speak to the greatest tyrant on earth. The greatest, you know, of the Jababira. The greatest uh, tyrant who doesn't take any advice, who doesn't care about, you know, killing people, right? So when there is unease in your chest about a matter, then you're going to find the hesitation on your tongue as well. You're going to find, you're going to stutter, you're going to find that you're going to uh, speak with hesitation, you're going to make a lot of pauses, and uh, it's going to affect your speech as well. So he said, وَحْلُلْ عُقْدَةً مِنْ لِسَانِي وَحْلُلْ عُقْدَةً مِنْ لِسَانِي And open the knot from my tongue. The scholars of Tafsir, they have a few opinions on this. One of them is that uh, this uqda or this knot on the tongue comes from unease in the chest. When you're uh, uneasy about a matter, then you're going to have this hesitation on the tongue. Right? Yes, there are ulama that also say that uh, this was because Musa alayhi salam, he had he had put in his mouth a jamrah uh, 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 or a hot burning coal, right? It has a story behind it, of course, when he was a baby, when he was a toddler or something. So, uh, but before he got to Fir'aun, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had, Allah azza wa had fixed his tongue, alhamdulillah. So, wahlul uqdatan min lisani and open the knot from my tongue, meaning to make my speech easy, to make the speech flow on my tongue, whatever is in my, whatever is, whatever I have to deliver, whatever message I have to deliver, deliver, it is delivered clearly, right? Why it has to be delivered clearly? Last part, yafqahu qawli, yafqahu qawli, so they understand my speech, right? So they understand, the recipients understand my speech because First of all, if there's no hesitation, the speech will flow easy, smoothly, right, without hesitation, and then they will understand what I am saying. <clears throat> so beautiful dua, memorize it, inshallah. If the matter just involves action, then first two portions are enough. If the matter involves for you to speak to someone as well, then make this all four portions, inshallah. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. And this is especially for those du'at who go out and give da'wah for the fee sabirillah. And this is a, a great du'a because that's what Musa alayhi salam had to do. May Allah make easy for us. Allahumma ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.